Husa just uh, short of the goal line. Husa across the 15 to the 20. Still on his feet. Husa, he's got a step and he's got great speed. Husa, he may go all the way, folks, down the sidelines. I don't think they're going to get him. Step on Husa is going to score a 99 yard touchdown. Welcome back to our FFN season preview show. That was one of the plays of the year on WJVF Game Night Live last season. Yeah, and we're hoping for more exciting action this season as Game Night Live is back for a fourth season. And here's a look at the entire schedule with an extra game for your viewing pleasure. We kick things off with a rematch of last year's season opener, North Augusta and Lakeside. The Panthers won that game at North Augusta in the first game for a pair of new head coaches, Steve Hibbets at Lakeside and Brian Thomas at North Augusta. Both coaches hoping for some better things in 2015, but both have some big stars to replace, including Rashawn Roundtree for Lakeside and quarterback Trib Reese for the Yellow Jackets. In week two, Washington Wilkes will look for their fourth straight win over their rivals from Lincoln County. The Tigers, one of 15 area teams with a new coach this year. This will be game number one for Jacob Kelly since the Tigers don't play on the 21st. Week three will take us to Lions Field in North Augusta. The Predators on the prowl for another playoff berth. The Rush Schneider is gone and Derek Quinn is in from North Augusta. Fox Creek hosts an Augusta Christian team hoping to bounce back from a down 2014 season. Week four takes us to the Valley for what could be a really good one. Watch out for the Mustangs, who return a lot of talent from a team that made the second round of the 3A playoffs last year in South Carolina. They host a Strom Thurmond squad led by star running back Chad Gilchrist. Lakeside is back on GNL in week five. They'll face their rivals from Evans, of course, under new leadership for the first time since 2002 as Lemuel Lackey comes over from Laney. Head coach Dwayne Garrick is back at Barnwell for his second stint. He takes over a Warhorses squad that started out strong last year but lost their last three. They also lost their star running back Shakur Chisholm. They'll host the Aiken Hornets in week six of Game Night Live. In week seven, Harlem hosts a Screven County squad featuring one of the area's most exciting players, running back and linebacker Jeremy Hawkins. Week 8 brings us back to Columbia County for a region battle between Greenbrier and Grovetown. The Wolfpack just 1-4 all-time in their short history against the Warriors. Week 9 delivers a game night double dip. On Friday night, it's an Augusta private school battle as Westminster hosts Augusta Prep. Then on Saturday at 4 o'clock, we come right back with a Richmond County rivalry as Laney plays host to Josie. In week 10, Glen Hills will be looking for some revenge against Westside. The Spartans have lost two straight to the Patriots, including last year's 48-0 loss. We close out the season with a pair of great rivalry games. In week 11, it's Aquinas and Lincoln County. The Fighting Irish have flipped the script in this matchup, winning the last two over the Red Devils after dropping 32 straight. The Game Night Live season finale is down in the Bear Den for Burke County and Thompson. The Bears have won six of seven against the Bulldogs, but Thompson looks to take a big step forward in year two under Rob Riding. And, of course, Game Night Live, just part of the all-out blitz of high school football coverage we have right here at WJBF. Yeah, one of the newest additions to our high school sports package is the Border Bowl. What a thriller we had last year in Border Bowl 2 as Team South Carolina would stuff Team Georgia at the goal line to win the game. The first Border Bowl win for South Carolina after Georgia won the inaugural matchup. This game features the best seniors in the CSRA from both Georgia and South Carolina going head-to-head -head in a battle for pride and, of course, the paddle. Border Bowl 3 returns this January here on WJBF as Evans Lemuel Lackey will coach Team Georgia and Midland Valley's Rick Knight will head up Team South Carolina. Yeah, another one of our favorite high school football franchises here is the FFN All CSRA Awards. Each January, we honor the very best players in the CSRA, regardless of class in this one. Five players are back this year who made the cut in 2014. McCormick running back, Mateo Duran, who's only a sophomore. Allendale Fairfax defensive lineman, Dion Priester, he's just a junior. The rest of the guys back are seniors. North Augusta linebacker, the tackle machine, Rashad Bird. Middle, Midland Valley linebacker, Xavier Leapart, who's a two-time All-CSRA player. And Screven County linebacker, Jeremy Hawkins, who's committed to Georgia Southern. All of those players are great, but even they aren't getting the attention that Thompson sophomore Christian Tutt is. Tutt is the number one rated cornerback in the country in the class of 2018, according to 24-7 Sports. And he already has 20, over 20, big-time college offers. He obviously has great ability, as evident by this return touchdown last year as a freshman. What impresses his coach the most, though, is the way he handles all of this attention. To be as young as he is right now as a sophomore and to have all the activities going on with him, uh, 
he's doing a great job of handling that. You know, I often think, you know, if I was his age, I don't know if I could have handled it as well. But uh, he's the type of player that probably comes around only every 10, 15 years. And you got to keep yourself motivated. You know, you're going to get all this. I get all this talk. You know, I get people calling me every day. You know, you got to block that out. You know what I'm saying? You got to look at the bigger picture. You got to keep working hard. Thompson opens the season on the road at Jefferson County August 21st. Yeah, the following week they'll play their home opener against Waco, and that night Coach Riding says they will rename the field at the Brickyard in honor of legendary Thompson coach Luther Welsh. That should be a special night. Well, we're not done yet here on our FFN season preview show. When we return, how the Grovetown football program deals with more turnover than most thanks to a large number of military families in their school district. Supporting high school athletics, McDonald's, proud sponsor of football Friday night.